Hello everyone, and welcome back, th finally, <laughs> to the series on how to catch all the bug snacks in bug snacks. This video is for Scorched Gorge. Uh, if we look in our bugopedia, there is 12 uh, in, in here. Uh, the only special things is the crystal sweetie fly only appears at day, and the white sheep hoof only appears at night. So, I'll be showing the white sheep hoof last, because I'm coming in here during the day, so I'll show the other 11. Uh, and, yeah, not much to say, so let's just, uh, just get right into it. Okay, here we are. So, we have 12 of them here. Um, like I said, one of them only appears at day, one of them only appears at night, all the others are here all the time. Uh, so I'm just gonna start off here with the Crystal Sweetie Fly. This is the one that only appears at day. So, to do this, you're gonna put down your lunch pad, aim it, you know you aimed correctly when it turns blue because then it follows, and put your snack trap on it, and just like the other Sweetie Flies, just wait until it, it gets tired and it goes to rest just like that and launch it up and catch it quickly you can see if you fail to do so it'll get scared also if you don't snap it in time it'll also notice so if you just don't hit it at all it'll still notice you have to hit it fairly quickly I think I did it too quick there so it snapped without going in it um, but it, it'll just return back there you go uh, fairly easy. Crystal Sweetie Fly. That one is just, uh, yeah, it's just daytime only, 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, second one, we have the Chi Poof. Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, this is the other one that's only here at daytime, but it turns into a white Chi Poof at night, but it's the exact same thing. So let me actually catch this one over here, because it's, uh, easier. So, the second one here, Chi Poof extremely easy it's even easier than the uh than the crystal sweetie fly you don't have to wait for anything just put down your lunch pad aim it put the snack trap you don't have to wait for anything just launch it and grab it and pick it up there's your cheap poof third one is the spuddy uh if you have the so, if you have the trip shot, it's a lot easier, but I'm going to show you if you don't have the trip shot. Um, so there's two spuddies here. You want to get your ketchup ready, and you want to get the attention of both spuddies and get them to follow you over here. In which case, you're going to put ketchup on one of the spuddies. And the other spuddy will target it, and uh, it'll knock it out. Um... There's a chance that they'll both knock each other out. That does not happen all the time, though. When I was testing this video, it uh, it didn't, and only the one with the ketchup got knocked out. But if you do have the trip shot, the the easier way you can do it is just simply put down your trip shot somewhere, just where it fits, and get it to run towards you into it, and that's how you can catch it that way. But so it's a lot easier, but when you first go into this location, you don't have the trip shot yet, because you get that in Sugar Pine Woods. Um, but the but you can do it definitely do it with the ketchup method if you don't have it. I find it easier with the trip shot because you, there's no ketchup here, so you'd have to refill it somewhere else, but that's fine because it, I always... Every time I have to pass through uh, an area, or every time I'm doing something in an area that has a certain sauce that I'm not full on, I just top up on it so it doesn't matter um so there's your third one next is the barbecue bunger here he is up here this one you have to use the trip shot uh, notice you can't put it on the sand but you can put it on the sandstone so just put it on the sandstone and if you get his attention he'll follow you and hit the trap and uh and you can catch him. Uh, you have to use the trip shot, as far as I know. I don't think there's a way to do it without the trip shot, but there might be. I don't think there is, though. Um, next up, we have the sweet frighter, who is chilling over here. You're going to 
put your launch pad over here with the snack trap on it. Kind of a common theme of this area, I guess. Well, I guess that's because you get the, the launch pad from this area. So just make sure the cheap hoof's out of the way. And you, you know what to do. Catch it at the right time. I didn't catch it at the right time. Thankfully, this windmill gives us some wind so it knocks off the, uh, the, the snack trap if you fail. Um, actually, it's not even if you fail or not. It, it just pushes it down in general. So, just... If you can... Nope. Oh, I almost had it. But, uh, you get the point. If you can do that... Uh, which it's pretty easy. I did it first try when I was testing, but for some reason I can't do that now. I don't know why. Uh, it's a little bit easier when it's on the ground, I find. There you go. Here we'll catch it. Just let the wind from the windmill push it up, push it off. Sorry, and pick it up. There's your sweet Frider. Okay, and that is was that the sixth one? Uh, next we have the Ribblepeed. Ribblepeed is probably the easiest thing to catch in this area. Ribblepeed hangs out in here. You can see there's more sweetie flies and spuddies down here. But they hang out in the ruins down here, in each of these little ruins buildings. And, uh, look, you can get close to them and everything. They literally do not care at all. So, very, very simple. Easiest thing in Scorched Gorge. Put your snack trap literally anywhere that's close to them, and put hot sauce on it. They'll go down, and you can you can pick them up. I think even doesn't it say in there? No, it doesn't. But uh, it's a very it's probably the laziest bug snack in the game. Even lazier than the the weenie worm. Which, speaking of that, there's a variant of the weenie worm in here. It's the shy weenie worm, but it's over there, so I'll show that later. Uh, so that's how you catch the ribblepeed. There is one over here as well, on the ceiling. Um, and there's one in here. Excuse me, spuddy. There's one, uh, there. This one, actually, you don't even- look, you can just catch it without using the, uh, <laughs> the hot sauce. But if you don't catch it quickly, it will move out of the way, but it will eventually make its way back, so... <laughs> it's, uh... I don't know. It's not the smartest thing. Um... Okay, that was the sixth one, actually. I just... I had to stop and, and check real quick. Uh, oops. Okay, so next up we have the Pop Tick. Um, pop tick's an, an interesting one. Um, it requires the Scorpino. Actually, it doesn't require it. I guess you can do other methods, but Scorpino is the easiest. So, you have this Scorpino over here, and the pop ticks around here. These little dudes, apparently they're too small to be able to catch in the trap, because they're just so tiny. They don't care about you being near them. Um... But basically, the Scorpino hates hot sauce, and he shoots a fireball at hot sauce, or you. If he sees you, your, tra your traps, or anything with hot sauce. So all you're going to do is get your hot sauce ready and wait for the pop tick to come out of the water so it doesn't lose the sauce and put hot sauce on it. It'll catch this dude's attention. He's going to hit it with a fireball. It's going to light up and become a regular, like puffed pop tick you can scare it to make it go into the bush um if it's far away it is good because if you scare it when it's all the way over there you can get it to come into the bush and then put your trap all the way at the end of its path because if you put it any closer the scorpino is gonna see it and he's gonna uh light it on fire so yeah so when once it's puffed like this and it becomes like uh, an like actual popcorn it's big enough to catch in the trap and there's your pop tick now for catching the scorpino itself i'm sure there's other ways to do this but the easiest way in my opinion requires you to have a uh, sizzle and sands unlocked up there um to get the cheese um, and I think, I believe, I don't remember, but I think the way you do that is you, when you do the, the second, 
like party i think it's like ghost stories or something i think it's after that one all the the secondary areas unlock so uh if you come here after that uh chandlo will be here and push down the bridge and you can go over there but i think you uh at least for this method you need to have you need to um, have that unlocked first so you can get the cheese sauce so you're gonna come over here put your buggy ball down try to avoid his fireball and put your buggy ball down put oops uh, put a uh, cheese on it and put it over here so it'll see he'll it'll he'll come down here and then He'll be uh, extinguished, and you can just pick him up. You don't even have to uh, stun him or anything. Just, I did that a little poorly, but put your buggy ball down. Put cheese on it, uh, and then kind of guide it close to the water, but not into the water. Otherwise, it'll lose the sauce. So you can get him to come down here. Yeah. So next we have the green peel bug. To get the green peel bug, um, you see this hole over here. If you put your snack trap down or your trip shot, um, I'm gonna do my trip shot because it looks cooler. You can set it up right there, grab your buggy ball, and put it in the other hole over here. It'll make its way through the tunnel and push the green peel bug out. If you have the trip shot, it's easier this way because it'll just push it out. It'll hit the uh, the trip shot. Uh, if you don't have the trip shot and you use the snack trap, you'll have to um, you'll have to hit the trap as soon as it comes out so you can catch the peel bug. Um, I think uh, if you've seen my flavor falls video, uh, I did that with the ruby peel bug. Maybe? I think I did it in the original. I don't know about the remastered one that I did. But, anyways, that's that. Um, next, we have the Shy Weenie Worm, which is in the. Where is it? The secret chamber. Where is that? Here it is. So, you, you have to get a Spuddy to hit this wall over here to open it up. And you have these Shy Weenie Worms in it. So, if you scan one. All you gotta do, put your trap on its path, and uh, you can wait, but if you put ketchup on it, you won't have to wait as long because it hates ketchup, that it'll go towards, oops, it'll go towards anything with ketchup on it because it's, uh, it hates ketchup, so it wants to attack it. Um, so just kind of let it come over here and, oops, grab the trap quickly. Um, it, it might be easier to just catch it without the, uh, without the ketchup. Just kind of, there you go. Um, also, uh, fun fact, since it hates ketchup so much, if you put ketchup on it, it sees you putting ketchup on it, and it chases you, and it'll keep chasing you until, uh, if you come out here and it hits the water, it'll lose its sauce, and then it'll be scared of you, which is kind of funny how it goes from being aggressive towards you to being scared as soon as it doesn't have sauce on it anymore. Uh, now we have the snack pod for this place, the puffy snack pod. I don't know all of its locations, but I do know two of them, and I don't know all five. Um, but one of them is in here. There's one right there. And I think the only other one that I know, I might have, I've probably seen the other ones before, but I don't remember the other one I know is up here where the barbecue bunger is, uh, on this side, it's on this, uh, this fan windmill thing right there. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like I've seen the other ones before, uh, in game, but I do not remember um, but anyways, that's those, and the last one is the white cheap poof, which is the exact same as the regular cheap poof. Um, in fact, they are in the exact same spots as well. I believe this is the one I caught during the daytime, so, uh, since it happens at 6 p.m., um, if you just watch at 6 p.m., all the cheap poofs will turn into white cheap poofs directly, so it's pretty much the same thing, and... Well, not pretty much. It's the exact same thing. It's just at night they turn white. And, yeah. 
there. So they're different colored at nighttime, and for some reason they are considered a different bug snack. Um, if you uh, if you do some magic with uh, loading stuff, and you uh, and you can look at a uh, a cheap poof as it turns 6 a.m. without it loading properly, you can see it be a, a normal chi poof even at nighttime. And then if you like turn around so it's out of your sight and then look back, it'll be white. It looks cool. Uh, I don't know how to do that though, but uh, I think yeah, that is all of them. So <clears throat> there you go. That's how to catch every bug snack in Scorched Gorge. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Uh, whether or not it's actually bug snacks or not, but the next bug snacks video is going to be uh, how to catch all the bug snacks in Sizzle and Sands, which that might take a bit because a lot of those bug snacks are kind of tricky to, to get, but yeah. So, there you go. That's it. Uh, bye. I guess. Oh.